Okay, I think I need to start because 17 seconds, this is going to change. So, um, good morning and welcome to the second Canal Alliance Congress. And um, I'm just starting the day with a little overview of last year in the nation's first uh, National Heritage Quarter. So, hey, we got a new office in Lamont this year. The village made us an offer we couldn't refuse. Uh, so we moved into the train station and uh, working in the station I have to say I appreciate how quiet the canal was um, and uh, how different it must be uh, for the trains. Okay, so 12 months ago we brought together representatives of 51 organizations and governments for the first um, alliance. More than half of you said that you'd like to get together annually and here we are. And after that day, over 50% of the participants said they had identified an organization to partner with. So we're really pleased about that. Um, in 2013, we honored Mayor Bob Eschbach, Mayor of Ottawa, with the Boat Captains Award. He really represents the partnerships that we aspire to in all of our 60 communities. Um, many of his projects fulfill the goals of the National Heritage Corridor. Um, accurate, compelling, and interesting stories is what we would like throughout the corridor at all of our sites and events that interpret the themes of the corridor. We have established a three-part training series to help our interpreters and storytellers do a better job. Here they are at Lewis University's library working towards that goal. We also have um, many great sites in the corridor for school field trips, but many of the poorer schools don't participate because of lack of funding. We stole the idea from Candy of giving grants um, for bus transportation, and we're piloting the program at the canal boat this year and hope to expand to other sites this next year. This is what the canal looks like on the, its best days. Um, our lock tenders tours um, sometimes stop here at Oxabel to visit the lock, the lock tenders house and the aqueduct. Um, we've enjoyed collaboration with some great photographers this year. You can find great photos of the canal on Facebook, Pinterest, Flickr and other online sites. The Abraham Lincoln and Illinois and Michigan Canal uh, traveling exhibit traveled to several of our libraries this year, including the remodeled Lockport Library and the Lamont Library. Any partner organization can borrow it for a fee of $50. It's 10 banners and comes with rack cards and kids' activity books. It's not here today because it's still at the library. At the end of August, 50 people learned a little bit about our ancient history and got their feet wet looking for fossils in the Mazan Creek. Um, and then, of course, we shared good food and a little drink. Everyone took home fossils. Of course, it wouldn't be the Illinois and Michigan Canal National Heritage Corridor without public meetings and all sorts of other meetings. So we had plenty of meetings this year uh, to fulfill all our obligations and get everybody together. In addition to the great photographers, in 2013, we've collaborated with Tom Wilcoxon, an illustrator and map maker who's been working on canal projects for a long time, I think 17, 18 years with me. You'll hear about this project a little bit later. This is one of his drawings. We're working with Kickstarter. Um, it'll be up this week to help fund his project. Also this year, we've been working on our wayfinding system. There are over 300 interpretive panels out in the landscape. I know we've been working on this for a couple years. We're finally at the bid process through IDOT, um, so you'll start to see signs popping up. And Ted's going to talk more um, about this project. We're using the new technologies. Um, not just here on our signs, which is what Ted's presentation is, um, but also in other ways that we communicate. We're looking at a lot of new technologies. Uh, look forward to more of them in 2014. This is what the canal looks like on, the, on its worst day. In 2013, we suffered a lot of flood damage. Um, IDNR is still dealing with it. Several of the people, people in the room today are working with the DNR and FEMA to help get a new Nettle Creek aqueduct and ensure the historical integrity of the canal remains. Dinner lectures were held this last year in Lockport at the Public Landing Restaurant and, restaurant and at Lock 16 in LaSalle. Uh, we hope to add a Calumet venue to the list this year. This is Dave Dolak, a geologist. He's in Lockport here. He makes guitars and can't resist adding a little music to any of his presentations. 
Since 1998, the year of the sesquicentennial of the canal, there's been an INM Canal Award at the State History Fair. Some years we've been able to assist teachers and students in their research also. Several times our award winners have gone on to the National History Fair, and here's our 2013 winners. In 2013, many canal partners conducted cleanups along the canal. This group is a group of um, uh, Coles employees. Altogether, they conducted 10 work days along the canal last April and May. One of those days, they helped us paint the dock railing at Lock 14, pictured here. In 2013, our visitor center on the western end of the corridor was open for 3,410 hours and saw approximately 50,000 visitors. Some stumbled upon us through the highway signage. Some tracked us down to get their National Park Service passport stamped. Some came to see Larry and Moe, and some to use our first class bathrooms. In 2013, we established our internship program to improve interpretation at partner sites, and our first intern wrote an interpretive guide and operating manual for the canal boat. You will meet him today. His name is Aaron Mays, and he's going to tell you a little bit more about that program. In 2014, we're planning several projects to engage a lot larger audience and embrace more friends. I'm always amazed at where I find canal plates. So thank you. That's uh, the, the progress of the corridor in um, six minutes and 40 seconds.